China brands U.S. democracy weapon of mass destruction. Here's a summary of the article. China on Saturday branded U.S. democracy a weapon of mass destruction on Saturday, following the U.S. organized summit for democracy which aimed to shore up like-minded allies in the face of autocratic regimes. China was left out of the two-day virtual summit, along with countries including Russia and Hungary, and responded by angrily accusing U.S. President Joe Biden of stoking Cold War-era ideological divides. Democracy has long become a weapon of mass destruction used by the U.S. to interfere in other countries, a foreign ministry spokesperson said in an online statement, which also accused the U.S. of having instigated color revolutions overseas. Ahead of the summit, China ramped up a propaganda blitz criticizing U.S. democracy as corrupt and a failure. While the U.S. has repeatedly denied there will be another Cold War with China, tensions between the world's two largest economies have spiraled in recent years over issues including trade and technological competition, human rights, Xinjiang and Taiwan. Taiwan, a democratic self-ruling island that is claimed by China, was invited to the U.S. summit in a clear snub to its larger neighbor. Beijing got a boost in the middle of Biden's summit when Nicaragua dropped its previous diplomatic alliance with Taiwan, saying it only recognized China. This post received a score of 20,000, with an up-vote ratio of 86%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Ah shit, America. The guy you think sucks thinks you suck. Oh no. We suck again. Well wake her ass up. We gotta win tomorrow. Hey Erica, wake your damn ass up. I burst out laughing at this. My name is Erica. Meanwhile Russia tells everyone they will invade another country. You can't do that. Looks other way. I'm personally a big fan of the EU's approach of saying Oi you can't do that if you do that we're gonna unintelligible muttering and then we'll mutter some more and then you'll be all like more muttering before doing precisely fuck all about the problem. After the problem cannot reasonably be fixed, they condemn it with some more muttering about what they'd have done if only they had the chance, or complain that those who did actually try to do something have made things worse for them in some way. Happened with COVID, EU dithered for months over the vaccine and then got upset when other places were ahead of them in the queue for doses because they placed orders months ahead of them. I can't fault Europe's aversion to widespread warfare. Probably a little tired of having to rebuild a chunk of the continent every hundred years. The only European pastime that can compete with football. A reminder that even sophisticated propaganda machines produce cringe now and then. Seriously thought the headline was an onion piece. They are saying that America has used the term democracy as a weapon and a justification for interfering in other countries. Kind of like how imperialist nations used to use civilizing a country as justification to go and fuck it over. Most countries that have ever democratically tried to elect a socialist government have experienced some kind of intervention by the USA. Countries that experience right-wing authoritarianism are usually either left alone or made US allies. As much as the Chinese government sucks, this point isn't totally invalid. The irony being the US has undermined and overturned actual democratic processes of sovereign nations in support of fascist dictators who accept American bribes for American business to run rampant over the people of the nation. The greater irony is how the US is poised to do that to itself. If anyone hasn't seen this list, it's probably longer than you think law. Greater than the United States government has participated and interfered, both overtly and covertly, in the replacement of foreign governments. In the latter half of the 19th century, the U.S. government initiated actions for regime change mainly in Latin America and the Southwest Pacific, including the Spanish-American and Philippine-American Wars. At the onset of the 20th century, the United States shaped or installed governments in many countries around the world, including neighbors Panama, Honduras, Nicaragua, Mexico, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. During World War II, the United States helped overthrow many Nazi Germany or Imperial Japanese puppet regimes. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.